So it all comes down to this. Episode 22, round 22 of the F1 calendar. And here on our F1 manager, 22 save on the PS5. It is Ferrari versus Mercedes. Charles Leclerc versus Lewis Hamilton. And both titles are on the line. Welcome in to episode 22, the final episode of season one of this save. I hope you were doing well. Thank you for joining me for what could be an epic, epic episode here. Um, can we bring home both championships? We've been the underdog in the constructors for most of the season. We've not had a fast car, especially on one lap pace all year. But can we spring a surprise and bring home both championships? It's a monumental ask, but we're going to do our best. If you are new around here, hit the subscribe button down below and hit like if you are enjoying the f1 manager 22 content let me know in the comment section down below before we get started do you think mercedes will win the constructors championship currently as you can see we are down by 27 points so it's going to take a bit of a monumental turnaround and also in the comment section let me know if you think lewis hamilton can break the record for most world drivers championships winning his eighth here by overturning a two-point lead to Charles Leclerc. I certainly hope so. Right, before we get started, there's not really much to do. We've got a facility refurbishment to be completed, which that will be done in the background. And then it's race weekend in four days. So let's fast forward on. There's the refurbishment done to the hospitality area. That is great. And then um, there's a little bit of information, but we don't really concern ourselves here with any of that we just need to fast forward towards the abu dhabi grand prix let's take a look at race preparation so first of all expected strategies they're saying it's a potential one stop or two stop um we're gonna have to do the opposite to what ferrari do i think i'm feeling as though we should go aggressive and go two stop probably medium hard medium um or start on the hard, start on the hard, maybe an attack straight away. But um, we'll have to wait and see. Qualifying wise, I'm very concerned. But performance targets, qualifying position will be uh, one driver in the top six, reach Q3 and reach Q2 for the final time this season. Finish position, one driver in the top six. I'm not worried about fastest lap. We don't have that sort of pace in us. And then finish position, this will be the final one that we can potentially do streak wise. So that's all of the targets done not really much of an intro necessary here because it's all about the results now ferrari versus mercedes leclerc versus hamilton let's get into race weekend we're at yaz island in abu dhabi for the formula one grand prix the yaz marina circuit was completed in 2009 and we've seen a fair share of celebration and commiseration over the years since then the scenery may be spectacular but this weekend all eyes will be on the track. There's a reason why the Yas Marina circuit is used as a test track. The long straights put engine power through its paces, while the twists and bends make medium speed downforce just as important at this challenging circuit. This is it. We're down to the last few races of the season, and it's time for that final push. Who will be crowned champion at the end of it all? We'll find out soon enough. There's nothing like a race weekend in formula one right there was never any doubt of rain here um at abu dhabi so we're not going to have that on our side pace wise is what it's all about and i am very very scared about that um we don't need to take any engine penalties we just need to get our setup spot on clear skies all throughout uh what we are going to do though once again is we are going to save our parts for the race so uh used parts on the engine that's fine it's the last race of the season ers we're going to use a used one as well because i don't want any issues with crashes i don't want any issues with anything we need to keep everything as perfect condition as we can for the race so that's lewis hamilton's down there and car parts for george russell as well the engine he's gonna have to use this one here it's on 28 percent, but that should be enough to get through um three practice sessions the ers he's gonna have to probably keep 
because I don't think we'll be, 10%, I don't think we'll be able to last with that. So the ERS he can keep. And then the engine, um, oh, gearbox, sorry. Engine gearbox, he'll uh, use the 41% one. Okay, we will work on our setups, get them sent out on some practice runs. Hopefully, we can get 100% on the setup and do our best here to bring home two trophies back to the Mercedes team. It's been a long season that I'm feeling the nerves now, especially after that uh, Brazil race last time. If you haven't checked out that episode, do be sure to go check that out. It was very, very dramatic. And all memories go back to last season at Abu Dhabi and the heartbreak that ended the race. And there was a lot of drama, um, obviously, with the safety car and with the way that the season ended. As fans, it was brilliant to watch. But there was heartbreak, obviously, for Lewis Hamilton. So let's hope it can be an easy, easy victory here for the Mercedes guys, if possible. Already a huge issue here as we're under virtual safety car conditions. Yuki Tsunoda goes straight into the wall and he is out of the session here. We've got uh, Lewis Hamilton and George Russell both out currently. Um, but it's only been seven minutes of the session so far. So there's been no times set really. Um, but we're going to keep them out because there's no real reason not to. Uh, let's fast forward on. Right, first setup feedback for Lewis Hamilton is a 75%, which isn't too bad. Um, rear wing needs to go up just a little bit. But apart from that, everything else seems to be okay. I mean, that, that I think should be fine. So we will send Lewis Hamilton back out. The soft tires have another 11 laps on them. Uh, so we won't worry about that. We'll put on a new set of softs and then send him out for 17 laps. Which is fine. Uh, Lewis Hamilton is done. And George Russell's set up then. 32%, so not the best with him. Bad on everything. So we've got a lot of work to do there. Uh, we'll do something like that with George Russell. Uh, we'll do something like that. And uh, let's do something like that for George Russell. Again, we'll send him out on soft tyres. Confirm that. Um, halfway through the session, nearly, and Charles Leclerc tops the timesheets with a 126.6. So it is already looking like a very difficult ask if we want to win these titles. And Carlos Sainz currently sitting in P3. Could this be a big issue here in the title race? As Charles Leclerc goes off, he's hit the wall. It's not really a huge impact. Um, so I think he should be fine. He's not out of the session. Currently, he's in P3. The speed of Pierre Gasly, though, that might be a little bit of a concern for us in P4. Uh, we're currently down to P9 and 10, but again, we are using very worn, um, worn components. George Russell, 42%. He's not had the best session here in practice one um three goods and two bad so we'll mess around with that just a little bit end of practice one then and max was sapping tops the time she's ahead of sergio perez Charles Leclerc in p3 i don't mind the red bulls being one and two there that could be pretty good for us if that's the case we just need to close the gap now by a little bit Charles Leclerc is about a second ahead of us so far which again i'm not too worried about because we're using old parts no real um major engine penalties apart from lando norris looking at the setup things as things stand um we've just messed around a little bit with lewis hamilton's setup and george russell's both of their track climatization in the mid 30s so that is good uh, let's move on then put them on the medium tires um and send them out for probably uh, 20 new laps uh, let's do that with Lewis and George. Another incident with Esteban Ocon going off exactly where Yuki Tsunoda does, smashing into wall, and that is the end that of Ocon's session. That's a huge crash. Um, safe, virtual safe. safety car, so we're going to ignore it again. There's been a lot of virtual safety cars uh, so far this weekend already. I think there's been four across, well, one practice session in three minutes. So you never know. We could be seeing some uh, safety car instances during the race if things like this continue another huge huge crash at the front of the grid as Sergio Perez locks up and nearly wipes out the Alpine of Fernando Alonso that is potentially Sergio Perez's um Sergio Perez's practice session over as well as Lewis Hamilton is stuck behind a uh stuck behind Aston Martin there George Russell stuck behind a red ball obviously of Max Verstappen We've still not made much uh, impact into Lewis Hamilton's setup here. He's on 
thankfully his track calamitization is up to 70 so we don't need to worry too much about that in the um third practice session but we need to push that up to about at least high 90s if we can we've got three greats and two good so we've got a little bit room to work with but him and george russell both having some issues here with the setup this weekend um i'll play around with it now show you what i come up with at the end and just take a look at before the end of this session there's only a few minutes left right end of the session then and charles leclerc tops the timesheets once again ahead of max verstappen fernando alonso in p3 the alpine showing a lot of late season pace george russell in p10 lewis hamilton in the pits in p13 we're just here for setup purposes uh, we're gonna bring george russell in because why not um that's the end of the session we're going to head on to practice three now, try to finish our um, run times as Charles Leclerc looks dominant again. Um, yeah, we don't really know our true pace at the minute. We definitely aren't going to be sitting P1 after qualifying unless something mad happens. But um, I just want to be in touch in distance, really. P4, P5, something like that, if we can. In what could be a bit of a twist in the uh, race for pole position, Max Verstappen has crashed out at the same That's place very... that uh, Sergio Perez has crashed out. I wonder if the Red Bulls are having an issue with that corner and Max Verstappen is out of the session here in practice three. If he's going to have to make some changes to the car, he could potentially take some grid penalties at qualifying. I hope not, though, because I need Verstappen and Perez to push on and try and get this race win. But another early virtual safety safety car with only 10 minutes gone slowly but surely we're getting there lewis hamilton 84 percent on the setup um finding this really tricky for some reason and i don't quite understand why um i will still play around with it just a little bit to try and get it up into the 90s or so but we still have about 40 minutes left of this session george russell's going to come in we'll take a look at his setup as well but i think it will be around the high 80s as well just get up towards the high 90s and i think we'll be okay for the setup i'm kind of giving up hope on getting that 100 setup at this race all right where we've struggled with lewis hamilton and 97 percent for george russell happy days happy days happy days for optimal and uh great right there so we might take a look at this in comparison to Lewis and see if maybe uh, there's anything we can steal uh, setup wise. But 97% for George Russell, that's good. And Lewis Hamilton, though, he's only in around about 87% and it's only practice three. So I think we're going to have to stick with that um, to end the session. George Russell is going to head out again for the final five minutes just to get the track climatization up. Uh, Lewis Hamilton... 100% on the track climatization. That is great. George Russell, 92%. Time-wise, Lewis Hamilton down in P12. George Russell in P15. And Charles Leclerc leads the way yet again. Right, so qualifying then. Car parts. We want to give them back everything fresh. So, Lewis Hamilton, new engine. A new ERS. And a new... Or the new gearbox. Fantastic. Stuff for Lewis. Um, and then with George Russell car parts engine, the newest version of the engine, uh, ERS, he's going to have to keep on the same one, which is fine. And the gearbox will give him the newer version of the gearbox as well. So let's get into qualifying. We're just potentially looking for a P4 and 5 if we can. We're not going to have the pace for pole position here but we just need to get as high up the grid as possible. So I think we should be okay here through to Q1. George Russell currently P8 and Lewis Hamilton in P6. But um, one thing that I did not anticipate here was the pace of Pierre Gasly. Um, yeah, he's currently up in P5 and Valtteri Bottas is ahead of George Russell again. So constructors wise, it is not looking good for us at all. As Lewis Hamilton is behind a Williams, so potentially could have his lap a little bit impeded here and he's gone slower through the first sector so i'm not expecting this to be much better uh, that much better of a time um unless he could pick up a little bit of a slipstream which i don't think really exists on this game there isn't much of a slipstream effect so um yeah i'm not expecting i'm not expecting to go any faster charles leclerc tops the time sheets as things stand at the minute uh, yeah, Lewis Hamilton is now being very held up here by the Williams. Um, yeah, that's probably our lap ruined. Uh, we're just going to bring Lewis Hamilton in because there's no real point. We're just going to abort this lap here and just let the Williams do its thing. Uh, George Russell, he's gone slower in the middle sector. 
So yeah, I'm not expecting him to really do much either. Valtteri Bottas doesn't improve. Shogun Yu, Magnussen. So yeah, we should be fine to get through to Q2 at least. But um, yeah, Pierre Gasly is very rapid right now. Bottas and Gasly are looking fast. And Charles Leclerc is looking dominant. So um, oh, my feelings for these world titles are not, not looking good right now. Um, it's not looking good for us right now. We do need to improve though. We do need to, need to make sure we are through into Q2 or through to Q3 at least. George Russell's coming out. Lewis Hamilton is coming out as well. Um, is Max Verstappen going to stay in? I don't think Max Verstappen is coming to set another lap. So that's interesting. He feels like he's fast enough. Um, okay, interesting. We're out for our final flying laps. Hopefully we can improve. Final couple of corners then in Q2 and George Russell heads towards the start finish line, crosses the line and is up into P6. Faster than Bottas, but not faster than Pierre Gasly, who again is flying right now. Lewis Hamilton, he crosses the line and he goes up into P6 as well. So ahead of George Russell, but behind both Red Bulls and both Ferraris as well. So, um, yeah. Um, we need to get ahead of Pierre Gasly somehow, but he's got a good tenth of a second on us right now. Okay, so not a good first run from us whatsoever um, in Q3. Lewis Hamilton in P6, George Russell in P8. Behind both Alonso and Gasly, the Alpine and the Alpha Tauri have improved so much this second half of the season. Like, so, so much. And it's really, we haven't improved enough or we've improved on the wrong things on the car. Um, Charles Leclerc looks as though he's in a world of his own right now. And unless he crashes out or has a mechanical failure or something crazy happens in the race, he seems like he's in a potential here to run away with it. But our strategies this season have been much better than Ferrari's. So if we go aggressive on the strategy, who knows? Maybe we've got a little bit of a chance if we ultra attack all the way. Um, I think we're going to possibly have to two stop. Um, although grid position do we just stick with the one stop i'm not sure final run in q3 and um yeah i'm just hopeful that we can at least jump fernando alonso and pierre gasly i don't think we'll be able to jump gasly but uh we're looking at hopefully p5 and 6 or 6 and 7 for our guys right final couple of corners then and Charles Leclerc has crossed the line and he is yet to improve on his time but he is currently provisional p1 Lewis Hamilton crosses the line and is above Fernando Alonso but not faster than Pierre Gasly where is George Russell he's gone faster than no oh man Carlos Sainz is behind Pierre Gasly though that is a big big deal where did Pierre Gasly get that pace from Lewis Hamilton's in P6, George Russell is in P8, and Charles Leclerc is your pole sitter for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix in a race that he knows if he wins, he is the driver's champion. And if he wins, Ferrari are pretty much the constructor's champion as well. He has looked utterly dominant so far this weekend. It's race day with the teams and drivers ready and raring to go. We saw a reasonable push from Mercedes in qualifying, and they'll have plenty of opportunities here to achieve a great result. Ferrari performed brilliantly during qualifying and will be very pleased with their grid positions, but the challenge for them will be to keep the momentum going during the race. And the sky is looking grey and cloudy today. An effective tyre strategy could prove very valuable as the race plays out. And teams will have to make tough split-second decisions here if they're going to succeed. An exhilarating race lies ahead of us with the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Here we are then, final race of the 2022 season here at Abu Dhabi, and we are starting in P6 and P8 with our drivers. Um, looking at the strategy, it looks as though a one-stop is probably the best, um, the best around here, potentially. Um, I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to go for a two-stop, but we can potentially stretch it out to a one-stop if necessary. Um, we'll just adjust on the fly. So we're going to go for a two-stopper there like that. Mediums onto hards, onto softs. Um, we're going to push as hard as we can. We'll do the same with George Russell as well. But it does mean that if we want to, we can switch to a one-stop around about lap 25 or so. 
um something like that and then george russell gonna do the same we're gonna go onto the soft tire at the end and what lap was it with lewis hamilton let's make sure that we're not getting in each other's way it was 47 and 21. cloudy skies tonight with the drivers now having taken position on the grid and here we've got lewis hamilton they're in the front half of the pack, so there's plenty of potential for them. And here we can see Russell. A top 10 position today, but will they be able to capitalize on it? And we're just moments away now. Anything could happen. It's the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Here we go then if we can get a good start here with lewis hamilton maybe get a past carlos Sainz. let's go aggressive to start off um we're up into p5 good stuff uh as george russell follows behind fernando alonso come on lewis get past carlos Sainz. we need you to push by him come on let's deploy a little bit of our ers here and make this move happen on lap one if we can get by carlos Sainz early that is a huge huge positive for us come on there we are we're into the slipstream of pierre gasly already and that is one position made really well for lewis hamilton from the start george russell is defending from valtteri it's bottas behind so it's not a great Mercedes. start from him as lewis hamilton looks down the inside of pierre gasly no such luck for him so far right we are going to go back onto neutral with Lewis Hamilton, but let's take a look at the tyre choices. Leclerc, Perez, Verstappen all on mediums, Gasly on softs, Sainz on softs, Bottas on softs, Ocon on softs as well. So, strategy-wise, there's a little bit of a split difference here. Apparently, they Leclerc has wide. run wide. Right Where has he gone? Line. Um, That doesn't look like he's gone wide at all. I don't know why they've shown us that replay. Leclerc, on lap four, has checked out so far. He is in P1. 1.9 seconds ahead of a flying Pierre Gasly who's overtaken the two Red Bulls. But as we're watching, Pierre, uh, Pierre Gasly's lost the place to Sergio Perez behind. Lewis Hamilton's been held up a bit here by Max Verstappen. George Just Russell has been poor most of this weekend. As now under we DRS, you see Valtteri Bottas makes the move past George Russell on the straight. No pace in this Mercedes at all. Where we've taken massive steps during the middle of the season... It's come back to bite us towards the end of it. But um, yeah, George Russell, we need you to do some work now. And Lewis Hamilton, we need you to get past the two Red Bulls. George Russell has managed to get past Bottas and now has got past Fernando Alonso as well. So he should be up to P7 now. Um, Big move for them. Not that it really means much. He's got past them and is now currently four seconds behind Carlos Sainz out in front. Charles Leclerc leads from Max Verstappen by 3.3 seconds. He's coasting to victory right now. It's all just going to be about the strategy. It's, oh, he's locked up. He's locked up. Charles Leclerc's locked up. We've watched him. And Lewis Hamilton has overtaken Charles Leclerc on the road. Leclerc's crashed. Leclerc's crashed. He's dropped. He's dropped. What's happened? He's binned it into the wall. He's binned it into the wall. Has he got damage? Has Charles Leclerc got damage? Where is he? Down to P9. He's down to P11. Has he got damage? We need to see this car. He's lost half of a front wing. Oh my God. Absolute drama here. And Charles Leclerc is now holding up the two hazards. He's surely going to have to tiptoe his way around to the end of this lap because he's missed out on a pit stop. He's going to have to change his front wing. He's down to P12. He's down to P13. As long as Lewis Hamilton scores two points... If Leclerc doesn't finish in the points, Lewis Hamilton is your world champion. He's currently P4. Oh my word. What's happened there? And also the Constructors' Championship, right? We're going to go back onto standard with George Russell. Um, He's fighting with Fernando Alonso. What is happening here? It's an easy overtake under DRS with George Russell. But oh my God. Absolute drama here on lap nine. Even more drama here at Abu Dhabi is Sergio Perez, who crashed in practice, smashes into the wall at turn one, and he's retired from this race. Lewis Hamilton's up into P3. Pierre Gasly's currently in P2 on the soft tyre, doing a brilliant job here on lap 10. Max Verstappen leads this race, but Lewis Hamilton 
is currently your world champion. Right, we're going to harvest the battery with both cars. George Russell somehow managed to and get himself up to P5. I don't know what's happened here. Where is Charles Leclerc? Because Perez is out. Leclerc is still tiptoeing around with half a front wing. Is he not coming into the pits? He's finally managed to make it round. Ah, the problem here is that are we, is Leclerc going to be able to get in and out before he's lapped? Because the safety car is going to bring him back into this. He's gone onto the hard tires and he's changing his front wing. It's a long, long pit stop. And he's going, is he going to be allowed past the safety car? Where's Max Verstappen? He's coming around the final corner now. Um, Leclerc has potentially got himself a free pit stop here. And this safety car could have really helped him out because he's got the pace. He really should be able to um, get past the back markers pretty quickly. But oh my God, this race is so dramatic. I don't think it's enough points though for the Constructors' Championship. But as things stand, Lewis Hamilton is the world champion. Charles Leclerc has been allowed past the safety car. And he is now making his way around the track to catch up to the back of the pack. So that's a little bit of a negative. He's going to start flying soon enough. You can see in the background, we've caught up to the safety car line. If the safety car can come in before Leclerc catches up, that'll be amazing. Right, safety car is in this lap. And Charles Leclerc has not caught up to the back of this pack. He's currently P19, half of the way around the lap. Will he be Reduce able to do it enough to catch up? I don't think he will. Right. Lewis Hamilton in P3. George Russell in P5. Carlos Sainz in P4. So many things to consider here as we go racing. Max Verstappen is your race leader. We've got tyre to, to use. We've got tyres to use. We've got fuel to burn. Let's go for it now. We don't need to do anything stupid. Because at the minute, we are the leaders in the Drivers' Championship and Charles Leclerc has already pit stopped. So we just need to basically match him. He's going to have to stop again. The hard tyres are not going to go 45 plus laps. I, I just, it's just not possible. Going in with George Russell around the outside of Carlos Sainz into P4 he goes. And those soft tyres are starting to wear out now of George Russell. Uh, sorry, of Carlos Sainz. And George Russell is up in to p4 let's take a look at the replay once again now just watch the mercedes here remember there's no drs just yet because the safety car has just gone in so this was just pure tire wear for carlos signs making him slow a beautiful move there by george russell uh, we're just going to go on to standard now we don't really need to waste anything more let's go on to neutral as well just stay in front of carlos signs whatever carlos signs does George Russell, you do the same and we'll just match him. Um, Lewis Hamilton, he's currently behind uh, Pierre Gasly. We're going to deploy some ERS ourselves. If we can get past Pierre Gasly the same way that George Russell's got past Carlos Sainz, we're in such a good position here for both championships. It's Hamilton then putting a move on Pierre Gasly for P2. We've hit overtake mode. We're on aggressive, on the tyres. Can he make this move stick down the inside, around the outside? And here we go, down the long straight, still no DRS detection yet. And the overtake mode on the battery has made that move work for us. Let's drop it back down to neutral. Again, our tire wear because of that safety car is very, very good right now. Um, but we potentially may need to make this a one stop. We're looking maybe around about lap 25 or something like that. If we do want to make this a one stop uh, strategy. Right, in comes Carlos Sainz for his pit stop, and he's going on to the hard tyre on lap 16. Um, he is now dropping like a lead balloon because the safety car obviously bunched up the pack there. Um, also in the pits is Lando Norris, Esteban Ocon, Valtteri Bottas. Where is Charles Leclerc? He is way behind a load of cars there, but he's going to make up a lot of positions as he takes positions from Ocon, Norris, Bottas, and his teammate as well, or is he gonna come out behind his teammate no he, yeah he's come out ahead of no behind Carlos Sainz or ahead of Carlos Sainz uh yeah he's behind Carlos Sainz and we're switching the strategy up a little bit we're gonna bring George Russell in 
to match uh, Carlos Sainz. So we're going to bring him in for hard tyres now. Box, box. And basically, whatever Carlos Sainz does, yes, um, George Russell is going to do as well. So we're going to go on attack with the tyres for the rest of this lap. Deploy some ERS as well. Uh, Lewis Hamilton is going to go on attack Bull, also as Max Here's Verstappen has retaken the race Here lead. Let's take a Max look here. Verstappen. It's an easy move under DRS. We don't really need to be fighting Max Verstappen here. He is currently in a different race to us. So, um, yeah, if we win, we win. Fantastic. We will obviously do our best to try and get this race win. But we're going to push now for the next couple of laps with Lewis Hamilton. Uh, George Russell is pushing on his in-lap. And we need to get out ahead of Carlos Sainz if we can. This is all just about matching Carlos Sainz now. As in comes George Russell. We need a smooth pit stop from the Mercedes guys. Where is Carlos Sainz on the road and Pierre Gasly? They're currently fighting. Switches from the mediums onto the hards. He's going to drop down a couple of places, but that's okay. These are all cars who have yet to stop. We have to come out ahead of Carlos Sainz. That's what we need. That's the main thing here. Carlos Sainz is still battling with Pierre Gasly. We cleared them on the road previously. Where is George Russell? He's coming out of the pits now. There is George, there is George Russell. You see the Ferrari and Pierre Gasly in the distance. And George Russell has come out in front of both of them. That is a brilliant pit stop by the Ferrari guys. And George Russell now just needs to match what Carlos Sainz done. Fantastic work as Lewis Hamilton has retaken the race lead as well. Here is the uh, race lead overtake for Lewis Hamilton once again. Good move by him. He's now up in P1. Uh, Tire-wise, I think we're okay just to keep going now on attack for the next couple of laps. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll probably wait for the traffic to pit um, behind us so that we can come out in maybe a little bit more clean air than if we were to pit now. But George Russell is currently battling with Sebastian Vettel in the Aston Martin who's yet to pit up in P11. Good stuff there, George Russell. This is good stuff. Right, Pierre Gasly's found some pace on these hard tyres all of a sudden and he has overtaken George Russell. Um, I didn't even know that and Pierre Gasly had got away from the two Ferraris. Last time we saw Pierre Gasly, he was fighting with uh, Carlos Sainz and now he's battling with George Russell. Like, let's take a look at the tyres. Um, we're still in a good position, but again, what we're trying to do is just match off what Sainz and Leclerc do. As long as George Russell gets more points than Carlos Sainz, that is fantastic as Leclerc is making a move on his teammate and is being covered off by the um, Aston Martin. These Ferraris fighting are not helping Charles Leclerc's championship cause at all, but that's a brilliant move there. And Leclerc's up to P14. As you see, George Russell overtaking Lance Stroll here. Pierre Gasly goes through on Lance Stroll and George Russell just follows through. Good stuff there. Again, George Russell, just stay in front of Carlos Sainz. That's your job. Pierre Gasly zero, runs zero. wide then under That's pressure from George Russell and he's going to lose a bunch of positions here. He frees a Ferrari behind. Who was it? Charles Leclerc? I think it was. Yeah, Leclerc is now up into P11. And as everyone peers, Charles Leclerc is now in the points. Right. Lewis Hamilton is going to box in this lap for hard tyres. So... Here he comes. Um, we're going to go on attack uh, and we're going to deploy some ERS as well just so that we can get the fastest in lap possible. Charles Leclerc has managed to find his way up into P7 and he's got the fastest lap of the race as well. So even though he had that massive accident and was very slow behind the safety car, he's now starting to come back in this race. There's still a long way to go. We're boxing from mediums, going on to the hard compound tyre. We may make a one-stop strategy work, but we've come out and there is Max Verstappen as well coming out on the hard tyre. Zhou Guan Yu and uh, Fernando Alonso are going to lead this race. No, Zhou Guan Yu is actually coming into the pits. Lewis Hamilton, uh, no, he's not actually. Zhou Guan Yu did stay out. Zhou Guan Yu is currently in P2. Alonso leads this race as there is Lewis Hamilton coming out just ahead of George Russell. Is George Russell going to overtake Max Verstappen here? Is George Russell going to overtake Max Verstappen? That is a massive undercut by George Russell. Almost, almost, almost. Um, We're going to push. Let's go for it. Let's deploy. Try to get past Max Verstappen as quickly as possible. While he's getting his temperatures up on his tyres, this should be an easy move for George Russell. Brilliant stuff there. What driving there by George Russell. Neutral again. 
And now, okay, George Russell can here. back up well the done. pack. I don't even know how George Russell caught all of that distance up to Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. But the undercut for George Russell has worked brilliantly. And now he's up into P2. And some, oh, well, provisional P2 anyway. And um, yeah, George Russell, brilliant stuff from you. You can now just push pretty much until the end of this race. The Red Bull. No, 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 no. Our safety blanket, Max Verstappen, is locked up and he's gone wide. All of the... Oh, did it... Oh, him and Leclerc nearly crashed. Red Bull going mad. Um, I'm not surprised. But now our safety blanket, who was Max Verstappen, is gone. And Charles Leclerc is behind the two Mercedes. Right, his tyres are so worn. 57%. We're at 69 with George, and we're at 73 with Lewis. Right, we're going back onto standard with George Russell. Pick up the pace. We have to. We absolutely have to. Max, what are you doing? You was right behind Charles Leclerc, and now you've gone wide. You was just about to overtake him and do us another massive favor. And all of a sudden, oh, hang on, hang on, forget him. Carlos Sainz is in the pits. Carlos Sainz is coming into the pits on lap 40 right okay um he's coming on to medium tires so george russell you're going to do the exact same thing medium tires coming on we're changing the strategy i don't really care and george russell is going to do the same as carlos so signs we're just going to cover that off right here comes george russell lap 41 easy pit stop hard tires off medium tires on view point four seconds brilliant job there by the engineers as through goes Alonso, through goes Verstappen, um, and we should get out ahead of, oh, Daniel Ricciardo's coming into the pits anyway, we should get out ahead of Zhou Guang Yu, uh, Kevin Magnussen comes into pits as well, right, George Russell, he should come out way in front of Carlos Sainz, that's the main thing, into some clean air, and George Russell's just going to go on standard until the end of the race, we can keep pushing the fuel, because the fuel is way over, but now again, out in front, Lewis Hamilton leads, from Charles Leclerc in second. Right, Leclerc has come into the pits from P2 and he's coming in for soft tyres. So he's going to be rapid. Um, Okay, where's he going to come out? Where is he going to come out? He's behind Leclerc. Does he come out behind Joe Guan Yu and Carlos Sainz? That's going to be the big thing here. There's, Sorry, he's behind, behind Russell, Leclerc. He's behind Russell. There is the Alfa Romeo of Joe Grand Yu. Somehow, Charles Leclerc has managed to get up into P5, and he's on soft tyres now until the end of the race. Um, okay, he's going to be flying on these. What do we do with Lewis Hamilton? I think we cover him off. I think we cover him off. Uh, yeah, we're going to box this lap for soft tyres, and we're just going to cover him off. Um, the constructors box, might box, be a bit box, tricky box. now as um what we're going to do is we are going to attack on the last little bit with this um with this hard tire um and yeah we're gonna come in for the hard and if Verstappen and Alonso can just one stop that's okay if they do one stop that should be okay right we need a good pit stop here from Lewis um in he comes for the hard tire George Russell is just doing his job apparently ahead of both Ferraris Leclerc is seven seconds behind. Um, I think George Russell is going to jump. I think George Russell is going to jump Lewis Hamilton here. Out he comes. Yeah, George Russell is going to get past Lewis Hamilton here. Maybe we should have stayed out. Oh, no, no, no. There's Leclerc on the softs. Do we get out just ahead of him? I think we do. And Lewis Hamilton is now down to P4. Um, right, okay. Alonso and Verstappen, it's your move next. Right, so things are getting very interesting here now. 10 laps from the end. Max Verstappen and Fernando Alonso have committed to a one-stop strategy. That's it. They've checked out. They've committed. We've gone aggressive with George Russell because George Russell has an opportunity here on the medium tyres at the race win. Lewis Hamilton behind is following George Russell. Right, these two don't need to fight, please. These two don't need to fight. We're going to go on to standard on the soft tyres to try and just make those work. Right, George Russell, get past both of these guys as soon as possible. George Russell, get past Alonso now. Fresher tyres, 
DRS and ERS. George Russell's overtaking Alonso and now he's making a move on Max Verstappen and George Russell has somehow taken the lead of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. This strategy has played a blinder here for George Russell. Absolutely phenomenal stuff from here. Let's take a look at the replay. Now, just watch the Mercedes here. The hard tyres have dropped off performance-wise and Verstappen and Alonso are slowing up. So the call to bring Lewis Hamilton in onto the softs has definitely helped out. But now Alonso and Verstappen battling is holding up Lewis Hamilton, which is affecting the Drivers' Championship. Charles Leclerc is just behind. You should be able to see them as we get onto the start-finish yeah, straight. The There's George Russell with the fastest lap of the race. But Lewis Hamilton has to get past Max Verstappen and Fernando Alonso quickly. Right, we're going on to overtake mode because, and, we can and we're going to aggressive as well. Um, because Charles Leclerc behind, he's going to be catching this gap up quickly. So Lewis, get by them now. Get past them. Come on. DRS is going to be open here. Surely you've got the fresher tyres. It is certainly time. George Russell is going to go on to standard. He can just coast now, hopefully, to this race win. No crashes as Max Verstappen, he gets past Fernando Alonso. Lewis Hamilton, he gets past Fernando Alonso. And now he's going to make a move. Oh, Max Verstappen. Oh, no, what's happened? Was there contact? No. Oh, and you can see Leclerc in the background. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. There wasn't contact. It's okay. It's okay. Just get past them now, Lewis. We have to. Lewis Hamilton just had to barge his way through past Fernando Alonso there. It's a brilliant move. He's up into P3. Um, and there's eight laps left in this race. As we take a look, Charles Leclerc is lurking 1.5 seconds behind Fernando Alonso as Lewis Hamilton passes Max Verstappen easily really under DR. S. Right, Leclerc, you can imagine, he's going to catch up and he is going to pass both Alonso and Verstappen easily. Let's take a look at the move on Verstappen. Lewis Hamilton involved in this one. It's under DRS, it's an easy move and it's comfortable there. Leclerc is in DRS territory then of Fernando Alonso and this one-stop strategy has not worked. Um, I'm glad we, we chose the two-stop strategy in the end for both of our drivers as Leclerc looks around the outside of Alonso. It's brilliant defensive driving though from the Spanish driver out in front. Lewis Hamilton is looking to make a move on George Russell. Just to show you, there is no team orders at all. Um, we're not getting involved in that whatsoever, but Lewis Hamilton with the fresher set of soft tyres takes the lead of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix uh, things are getting a bit sticky right now. Um, Charles Leclerc is up into P3. He's past Alonso and he's past Verstappen who are still fighting. As we look at the tyre wear, Leclerc's on 53%. Lewis Hamilton's on 55%. And George Russell is on 56% on the mediums. Um, still no team orders yet. If George Russell wants to try and overtake Lewis Hamilton, he can. A 1-2 is good enough. And second place should be enough for Lewis Hamilton to win the world championship. But... Charles Leclerc is currently flying on these soft tyres at the minute and there's five laps to go. There are two laps to go in this race and Lewis Hamilton is currently 3.4 seconds ahead of teammate George Russell. But there in the background, you can see championship leader Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari chasing us down. Thankfully, it's 1.2 seconds gap right now. So they're not, he's not in the DRS just yet as we are past the Aston Martin. It'll be great if the Aston Martin can hold up Charles Leclerc there. Brilliant stuff. Please, 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 please. Um, Tires. How is the tire wear going? Right, Lewis Hamilton's on 36%. Charles Leclerc is on 39%. Uh, we're going to go on standard and try to save them until the end in case we need them. Lewis Hamilton does have the fastest lap of the race. But you can see George Russell is absolutely pushing. We're on the medium tires with George. We covered off Carlos Sainz, who is in the middle of nowhere. Still sort of... I thought he was still fighting with uh, Pierre Gasly, but he isn't. Tire-wise, Verstappen's making this one-stop strategy almost work he's fighting with fernando alonso though but out in front your potential world champion is lewis hamilton here we are then on the final lap of the abu dhabi grand prix and lewis hamilton leads from george russell who is just ahead of charles leclerc by 1.2 seconds if leclerc wants to win this world championship He's going to have to do something crazy right now 
or Lewis Hamilton has to make a mistake, which so far he doesn't seem to be doing right. George Russell, we are going to go onto standard just because if that tire wear drops below 30% by March, we're in a huge little bit of a problem there, right? Um, Lewis Hamilton, you can just go until the end of the race. Let's go on attack. I don't care about the tire wear. You're a couple of corners away from becoming an eight time watch. Actually, let's not be stupid. Let's not be stupid. George Russell, where is Charles Leclerc? You can see him behind. You can see him behind. He's going to have DRS. Is he? No, it's the end part of the circuit. Lewis Hamilton's going to do it. Lewis Hamilton is going to become an eight time world champion against all the odds this season this mercedes has been an absolute tugboat at times lewis hamilton has not had a pole position this year but lewis hamilton is an eight-time yeah, world champion now. he's come home the winner of the Abu Dhabi yeah, grand prix guys, and mercedes are surely yeah. the constructors champion okay, it's like one that. two for mercedes let's there? take a look I again as lewis that. hamilton, hamilton takes the checkered flag win. what a season what a win what a strategy oh my god i cannot believe we've done it i can't believe we've managed to pull this one off the performance of this car has been so up and down and we only had one pole position all season with george russell George Russell with our only pole position of the season, but Lewis Hamilton has shown consistency. I, I can't even believe this is mental. Charles Leclerc, what a fantastic season he's had. You can definitely say he's been the best driver throughout the course of the season and so consistent in the top two, top three. Fernando Alonso, a brilliant drive to come home P4. Verstappen in P5. Carlos Sainz in P6. Really disappointing there for Ferrari. Pierre Gasly P7, Valtteri Bottas in P8, Daniel Ricciardo P9, and Joe Granu rounds out the points. But your race winner and your world champion is Lewis Hamilton for the eighth time. And to do it here at Abu Dhabi, where everything went so badly wrong for him last season, oh, that's exercised some demons. And George Russell, what a phenomenal drive by him. This is a result truly worthy of a champion for Lewis Hamilton. This podium is a true recognition of everyone who's been working so hard for this result. The highly decorated record breaker from Stevenage once again taking to the podium. For these drivers, they'll be taking home their trophies and a decent haul of points for their team. Mercedes once again showing why they're one of the biggest names in F1. It's really wonderful to see all the hard work they've been putting in paying off like this. At the end of the weekend, it's second place in the constructor standings for them. And that's it for this season of Formula One. The teams will be working hard in the break, gearing up for another year of thrilling F1 action. What a mental race that was from start to finish. Absolute drama. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff there. I love this game. I absolutely love this game. It's so fantastic. Lewis Hamilton come home with the race win, the fastest lap, and a maximum 26 points for Mercedes. George Russell finishing P2 with 18. Although I don't now think we had enough to overturn uh, Ferrari and the constructors. We will see in a minute. But um, we did all we could. A 1-2 maximum points. But I think that recovery drive from Charles Leclerc, which was absolutely iconic, after losing half of his front wing, not being able to catch up to the safety car, uh, just the pace he showed was phenomenal. I think that 15-point haul from him should be enough, really, um, to, to get the Constructors' Championship for Ferrari. Let's take a look then at the driver's standings. Lewis Hamilton takes the world championship ahead of Charles Leclerc.
by nine points. Nine points. He had eight wins on the season, 12 podiums, seven fastest laps, which absolutely unbelievable. But a lot of that was strategy based and ending on the soft tire for us worked a lot. Wins for Charles Leclerc. He only had six. That's where he lost the world championship. He had the most poles positions all season with 11. He just couldn't convert them into the wins that he needed. Carlos Sainz, not a great deputy. Only three wins for him. Eight podiums, two fastest laps. But the one DNF there really sort of ruined his chances at the driver's standing. Max Verstappen, a poor title defense really from him. Um, he started the season okay went on a dip then was brilliant in the middle of the season especially like monaco hungary those sort of times he was fantastic but then just the end of the season the final five races i don't know where his form went at all george russell one race win fantastic for him to get that chip off his shoulder a first race win in formula one for george russell coming home p5 in the standings and sergio perez in p6 fernando alonso finished ahead of valtteri bottas and esteban ocon finished p9 ahead of his french compatriot pierre gaz let's take a look at the constructor standings and yeah just just not enough unfortunately that recovery drive from leclerc won them the constructors title so to be fair credit to um ferrari to be honest with you they were the most consistent car on qualifying they definitely deserved um the constructors championship we just missed out by uh six points six oh, six points i feel like that was lost when sort of george russell crashed at japan and had his incidents elsewhere um yeah disappointing so we're not the nine sorry we're not the nine time world champions in the constructors our streak ends at 18 but lewis hamilton is an uh, sorry at eight sorry not 18 and lewis Ham but lewis hamilton is an eight-time world drivers champion as we take a look at development points lewis hamilton gets another one george russell as well um he had one from before we need to remember to use that uh before the end of this episode nick devry we're probably going to let him go i think heading into next season as we continue to the sponsorships really really big stuff from us to get money in but bonuses both of our drivers deserve to get paid george russell with a uh, third place finish so he got paid for the podium and lewis hamilton for the race win that's going to wrap up this season thank you so so much for watching um we are going to bring you sort of end of season review before the start of season two before the end of this episode though let's spend the development point with lewis hamilton we're going to give it our, on his breaking we will do that and then with george russell he has a development point which we will give him to uh his overtaking and we'll do that nick devry does he have anything yeah he has a development point as well we'll put it on his break in and nick devry goes up to a 75 overall fantastic stuff there but once again thank you so so much for all of your support on the series thank you for liking the videos thank you for enjoying the content i hope you are still enjoying it here what a phenomenal season we didn't win the constructors but we did win the drivers championship with lewis hamilton and yeah fantastic to know that we're going into next season on a high I don't know if I've done enough in terms of our research and development on next season's car, so that will remain to be seen. But in the meantime, take care, stay safe, thank you for watching, and I'll see you for season two.